In this video I will be going over the temperature, precipitation, and snowfall forecast as well as some likely storm tracks for the northeastern US this upcoming winter. To start it off we have the temperature forecast, and it looks like for the most part the northeast will be close to average except for northwestern Pennsylvania and western and upstate New York. Otherwise areas like New York City and Boston should be around normal. Now the precipitation forecast and it looks to be pretty wet across the whole region with slightly above average precipitation expected over the entire northeast. This is because of an expected active storm track with storms riding inland through the northeast. The reason in which they won't be off the coast very much is because of a southeast ridge, which I feel is going to be stubborn this winter, just like it was last year, but not quite as extreme. A southeast ridge usually brings warmer and drier conditions to the southeast while pushing the storm, track north which is why we are expecting above average precipitation for the region. Before I show you the snowfall forecast here is a map of your average snowfall to give you a rough idea of what to expect, whether I say above or below average for your location. I have the legend in the upper left corner so you can tell what each color means. As you can see most of the northeast sees at least 2 feet of snow on average during the winter, and those amounts get higher as you go farther north. Now the snowfall forecast is where it starts to get interesting. With above average precipitation expected, around average temps, and favorable storm tracks looking likely this winter, which I will get into in a minute, it looks favorable for above average snow for the interior northeast, with higher confidence the farther inland you go. We also have a slightly below average region in southern Massachusetts and this is also because with either a weak La Nina or neutral wind are expected, big storms, look unlikely to ride up the coast and hit southern New England. Now let's get into the storm tracks, here is that storm track I just talked about that can cause big snowstorms for southern New England. It is called a Miller A, Nor'easter and as I previously mentioned this looks unlikely to occur this winter. So if you are a snow lover in southern New England it doesn't look promising. These storms usually come off the southeast coast and strengthen while moving northeast and produce massive snowstorms with strong northeast winds, hence the name, for states like Connecticut, Rhode Island and of course Massachusetts where usually the heaviest snow falls. Here is the first common storm track I am expecting this winter. This would be what is known as a Miller B, Nor'easter where it starts as a clipper system coming out of Canada into the Midwest and eventually dumps off of the northeast coast and strengthens. These usually are not as strong as Miller A, storms which was the graphic from, before. They tend to have less time to develop over the water which is why they are often weaker than Miller A, storms. This graphic is of the same storm track but with an Arctic high pressure set up to the north, in Canada, funneling cold air into the region. If this happens, storms will be much bigger for southern New England and would typically drop a widespread swath of 8 to 12 inches. Now again that is only if, and things like if a high pressure will be sitting there when a storm or two roll by is impossible to predict this far out. If that were to occur several times though it could cause southern New England to have an above average snowfall season, so you snow lovers still have reason to hope. This track is one I expect to occur quite often with it possibly being a little farther west sometimes as well, which would cause the snow to be limited to even farther north areas. So don't take this graphic as what every storm that tracks in this area will look like, some will track, farther west and others east, but in general this is what it will look like. This track will have major impacts for the interior northeast and looks the most likely to occur often which is why I am calling for above average snowfall in the interior northeast. These storms will move through the Ohio Valley and usually ride up the eastern side of the Appalachians before dropping heavy snowfall of over a foot in the interior northeast. If you live in areas like Syracuse or Burlington, I know you already receive a lot of snow every year but be prepared for more than normal. That is all I have for today but this may get updated in the coming months so stay tuned as we fine tune the forecast for your region. Also if you do not live in the northeast, I will be making more videos on other regions in the US such as the southeast, Ohio Valley and upper midwest in the coming weeks. Otherwise thanks for watching and consider hitting that subscribe button to see more weather related content in the future.